Hi all, uh, welcome back to a BRR Knowledge Center. In this today session, we'll see like how we are going to run a Swagger UI from a Docker image. So I'll simply create an, uh, a API uh, and I'll create in a Docker image for that. And I'll uh, start running Docker image and create a container. And with that container, how I'm going to access Swagger UI uh, as similar to a web API request. So, I'll just open my uh, development here. This is where the Swagger and the, uh, uh, no, the uh, AP being created for different controllers, you know, locations and other stuff and patient clinician. So uh, how I'm going to create a Docker for this first, and then how I'm going to access um, uh, the, you know, the uh, uh, kind of a Swagger from the Docker image. Uh, let's get into this and see like how it is happening uh, so that you'll have some idea like how it is uh, happening and how it is executing and that way I think you will have some idea on uh, creating a docker image uh, to run swagger as well uh, along with uh, uh, the API uh, uh, image creation. So I'll just share my development screen here, uh, which I have location controllers here. And here, what I'm doing is, uh, I'll just build my Docker here, which I have already have a Docker stuff here and uh, pulling off .NET uh, runtime SDK for 6.0 and copying everything into my local uh, app folder and then restoring of uh, all the files using .NET command and then publish out. And again, start building off image with uh, SDK, SA Spinner 6.0. And, and then I'm going to copy all the uh, build environment files to my app out, uh, folder. And then I'm running entry point uh, location registration dot DLL. So when I run this, I think let me uh, check this and run uh, Docker uh, build uh, minus T and Docker 3387, then locations. A location then you know current directory and then it is going to start building my docker image and it was already uh, no downloaded hands it, it, it doesn't take much time now so uh, when i see that i already created my image here docker 3387 location and this is what the idea of image now i'll run this uh, i think uh, docker run I'll expose my uh, IP here, uh, 808 uh, from the 80, and the image was Docker uh, 3387, 3387 slash location. Uh, I think uh, location colon latest. If you have multiple, then it always uh, advise to give a latest. Now it was running here and when I copy and when I go on the browser and see here and local host 8080 and swagger dot in swagger slash index dot uh, html it is not working it it's saying a 404 because that particular entry was not found in the docker image because the, the rewards are calling from the docker image right now because I'm running my you know the api from the docker hence it is looking at the docker image and other api request is still uh, uh access like locations and other uh version 2.0 locations or version 1.0 locations or you access only uh i think only location if you want you just access only location i think is 2.0 no um, oh, well, let me see the endpoint how it looks like for the get location. I think uh, this get location was API version and controller. I think we have given this right. So let me see again uh, API and then version 1.0 location and this is the id uh, i think locations yep this is gate location is working based on the parameter you are providing in the uri 
So almost all the implants are working here, but not a swagger. So I'm expecting swagger should be uh, uh, up and running here. That way I think I can see what all uh, endpoints are available and inputs and schemas and other stuff on the UI. So let me go back here and uh, uh, stop the uh, Docker image and uh, just uh, you need to include a property here in the Docker file to get uh you know expose the swagger uh, endpoint so let me go back here to my desktop docker and remove my container and then i'll remove my image as well and go back here again in this uh, visual studio code text editor and go back to here and i just remove i'll open my docker file so if you look at here uh, in my docker file uh, i'll have entry point was uh, i think uh, <coughs> entry point was a docker uh, .NET location registration and we need to add uh, a point here uh, called iphone iphone and uh, environment I think we need to say uh, development. Let me cross check this environment development. I think it must be inside. Uh, okay. Is this fine? I think this whole thing would be in the double quotes. This is what the parameter you need to add here dot net location registration and environment equal to equal to development because if you look at your program.cs file this file UI was being added to uh, development but not for other environments so either you need to remove this condition or you add this uh, bit of statement here for this particular entry point DLL. now let's run this again docker uh, docker build minus t Okay, three three eight seven location iPhone, and now it started building and it's, uh, downloading all this stuff which I mentioned in the Docker file, and it will link it will ignore all these you no know, bin files and uh, OBC folder files. And it takes a couple of seconds because we have removed image from the. Uh, desktop doc container docker images here and uh, it's looking for a co couple of things to be installed and then it's started copying and then it's turning the dot net restore and then completed the building of image now when i see the images here i see image is created and only one image i have and uh, if I see here, nothing is being uh, a created instance for that image. Let's create docker run minus p and expose your IP to h right zero for the image docker which is h seven location. When I run this command, then it is going to start my image uh, by creating container. I think you see this container how it is created here it has an entry point with the environment equal to development and let's execute this uh, okay local host eight zero my endpoints are working fine and super and then i'll check my swagger now swagger slash index dot html well, still not working so uh what shall we do is docker okay i think i missed in the docker file let me look at here dot net let me check the syntax i think uh, environment development i think let me copy this that way i think you will have an idea of this i think we have uh, created development and i think uh, 
I give in some space here. I don't think it is a problem. Let me stop my Docker. I think I'll this time I'll only stop my Docker container, but not the image. Let's again build Docker image and see like what is happening. And then start running Docker and go back here and see. No. Local host. Swagger so UI slash next dot HTML. HTTP local host and Swagger dot index dot HTML. Oops, still not working. It is still in his condescend request address. And it is coming here and looking for transfer this IP. What is this IP? Okay, let me think of this page not form. Okay, can I send request address? Can I send request address? Okay. Um, okay. It's a uh, how it is going was uh, service dot name is actually service service dot environment equal to development app for all HTTP. Okay, let me think that. Think, let me see here. The share. Yep, still not loading swagger. Then go back to your uh, local images. Okay. So we mentioned this environment equal development. Let me do one thing. Uh, add uh, environment variables here. A spinet core. Uh, uh, what you call uh, environment is a development i think this you can use it and save this and i think you can remove this i think still it can work let me build again this docker image and it started building my uh, the stuff and let me see like how it is working now uh, as it is purely depending on the environment variable because if it's said development then only this wagger UI comes up on the as an endpoint in the docker image as it is basically uh, 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 needed for a developer but not for you know uh, live users so hence we need to make sure that that should be in the development phase and development class here and then it is building like yep i build that and again i'm running my this one and it started running and i'm going back and then let's spin this my api is working now let's check this swagger Oh, I think still not working. Okay. Let me give that option as well. And see, go back here. And so, in normal days, pinet core. Okay. Let's keep that variable as well and try to build again this Docker. And let's see, like, how it is happening. And then again, run this and go back to here. Locations are still working. And the swagger HTML. Yeah, now it is working. I think we must add environment variable and also the uh, variable here. That way it is coming out from swagger, I mean, UI from the Docker. 
I hope I think you understood that how we are going to build a Docker image uh, and also how we are going to invoke the uh, now this Fagger UI uh, from a Docker image. And this is ID, this is 1.0, and then you fetch it. It is working super. So, this is what I think we need to add. Uh, I think this particular you know, uh, parameter we need to add part of entry point, then it looks working fine now. So this is all about invoking my Swagger UI from uh, uh, you know, the uh, Docker image. If you remove this and go on a fetch it here, it won't work because I remove a container. That means instance of my Docker image. And we basically look for uh, how to give one parameter here in the Docker file. And based on that, it works. I added an environment variable here, and then I give it the parameter also here. So I don't think that it is it is required both, but here not sure like it is taking two things, but either of the way it should work. But make sure that I think you need to look at either of these uh, two ways. One way is okay, fine for you no know, calling of swagger away from a Docker. Uh, I hope you understand the uh, no uh, airline of stuff you need to add as part of uh, calling it Swagger so from Docker, and you make sure that Docker file should contain the environment variable as in development, because if you look at here, this is the environment variable we have in the app setting the launch settings from JSON. It is a value development. Same thing you need to uh, assign it as part of in the Docker image while you're launching the Docker image container. Thanks for watching this video and. Uh, Please subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you.